What's going on guys? Happy Easter. I had some Easter money and I went to the pet store and bought myself some stuff for a ball python. So ball pythons are a rather small python. We get about three to four feet. Okay. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I already had. This is that floating log out of my fish tank. Um, this is going to be perfect for a BV ball python to hide in. Next, this is from my old hermit crabs like six years ago. It's perfect for them to hide in. Next, this was in my attic. Nice 15 gallon aquarium. Um, perfect for a small ball python in a lid with a lock on the tank that goes in there and you can't escape. Okay, now I'm gonna start with what I bought. Let me sit down here. So, what I bought says pretty much one of the most important things. So, humidity gauge. Pretty sure it's called like a hygrometer. But this makes sure that your snake can set shredded skin, supposed to be at around 60 to 70. Ideal, about six dollars, not too expensive, but it's like a must need. This is a under tank or side tank heater, just perfect for a ball python. About twenty dollars. Next bag. I I've heard mixed things about aspen snake bedding. For ball pythons. I've heard that it's amazing. I heard that it's hard for them to shed their skin. But I said, eh, give it a chance. I'll get some other Zoom Med wood chips. So that was about $7.99. And then the water bowl I did have was way too small. So this is also for my next this is a water bowl I did have. It was tiny. Oh. And then the water bowl that I got it goes along with all the wood. It's nice. It's big enough for small to medium bowl python to fit in. That was $8. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Ball python care guide. 